No more newbie here, in this video I'm going to show you how to add black and white effects to your game in videos using the free and easy Share Factory app on the PS4. As a bonus at the end I'm going to show you how to not only do the black and white effects but add a splash of colour like we have here. So some great stuff coming ahead so let's do it. So if you're a PS4 player and want to learn how to make gaming videos using the free and easy Share Factory app then this is the channel for you so please do subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future videos. So we have lots of Share Factory videos uh, out at the moment and I've got so many more to come so do stay tuned for more. Um, this video we are going to look at how to add some interesting features to our videos and uh, we're going to be looking at black and white. Okay. So we're going to show you how to add black and white uh, videos and we're going to at the end show you how to play about with it to add a splash of colour as well. And I've got my favourite one um, at where you add a bit of colour at the end as well. So um, really good things to looking forward to. Okay, so why would we want to add black and white to our gaming videos? Well, the main reason is because it makes the videos that little bit different, a little bit more interesting. We've spent time freezing frames and reversing clips and doing all sorts of different effects. This is just another one to add, and especially if you're doing montages, it really does make the montage a little bit different, a bit more interesting, certainly worth giving a go. Okay, so let's get into how we do it. The f we're gonna, we've got lots of clips that we've just played that we're going to use as examples, and what we're doing is we push the cross button to add a add something and in this example we're going to add filter okay and we're also using the add um, layout later on as well which you saw there so but to start with add filter and we've got all these different options of filters that we can use if we want to so you just go down to whichever section applies but for us I'm just going to all filters and the first one you saw there was black and white and we've just added a simple black and white video um, or a black and white filter to our clip here so nice and straightforward next we go to add filter and we are going to add luminance which is this one here and that kind of gives an effect where the light that comes through the trees and the smoke and all that is a really bright white and that's a really effective um, filter actually so certainly one to consider using as well this one we're going to go again add filter and we're going to go down to um, two colors which is here two color one that I don't think you necessarily use that much because it's not that clear um, it's kind of I guess if you're going for a nighttime effect it might use you might use it um, but one that I don't think is overly great to be honest but I'm giving you all the options here the next one we go next clip we're going to is dreamy filter okay so we're going to add dreamy and this is the same as black and white really but it's got that border shaded around the outside very subtle and um, I'll come back to that one to show you a little bit more in a minute as well and then we're going back to the original black and white clips once you've added a filter you've got the option of pushing square to edit filter okay so um, cross to add a filter square to edit so we go to edit and when you click on edit quite often you see you've got an option for filter settings or delete filter if you wanted to delete it obviously you push delete if you wanted to edit the settings you'd push edit but a lot of the filters don't give you the option of editing so um, just bear that in mind but what we did here is we went into layout okay so if you push cross and then go to add layout then we can play about with the filter a little bit or the layout of the filter so you go to edit layout um, layout settings and we've got intensity in a radius outer radius here and you can play about with these so I'll just give you a couple of examples so if you bring the intensity down okay that is how um, defined the the black shading will be and then it kind of if we look at in a radius you can move the inside of the shading in and out of the screen and in the outer radius you can see that's beginning to come in now as we bring it down the outer radius kind of comes in a little bit so that gives a really um, effective corner shading if you wanted to go for an old-fashioned type 
video or or just play about with some kind of border settings so let's go into layout settings again and we can give you another example so if we go to bring the intensity up more you see that um, shading at the back or in the corners gets really intense so you can't see through it so much because we've increased the intensity and then if we bring the inner radius out or the inner radius and the outer radius closer together it really firms up that border now if you go too far it does this not sure when you'd need to do that but you know if you bring it the outer radius just beyond the inner radius it gives you this nice frame okay so that's quite effective there so what we can do also is we can go to add um, layout and we can add vignette settings so we'll do that in a second um, but that gives a sort of border like we did a moment ago but it's a real subtle border and it's a lot less work involved so um, just to show you quickly edit filter you, you can edit these filters and go to settings but a lot of these won't let you do it okay just to remember that so add layout vignettes layouts and then time bender vignette is what this one looks like so you can see that subtle border all the way around the outside that's quite nice uh, quite effective I think so worth bearing that in mind Okay, and the next one we can go to is add a filter and emboss. Okay, bit of an odd one, and you can't adjust it. So whether you would use it or not, I'm not sure. Um, you, if you went to filter settings, you can't adjust it. It's very frustrating. So this is how it looks. Um, but another option, still black and white. Just letting letting you know about these. Okay, this one I don't like personally because it gives me a headache the moment I look at it so um, if you go down to um, where is it if you go to no if we go to anaglyph I can never say it anaglyph um, and it gives this blurry effect and yeah not for me so I'm going to pause it there um, but it does if you like it then obviously use it but it doesn't look right to me and I don't like looking at it so so yeah you're caught on that one okay so that's the basics on the black and white so now let's start adding a hint of color to a couple of things so if we go back into dreamy filter and the clip we use for adding that if we go into edit filter and you'll see we've got the option this time of filter settings if you bring the intensity down if you look at that AR there um, you can see the color starts creeping in and the lower you go the more color is added to the screen um, but if you stop at 55% and we play that just look at the different areas where there's color but it's all black and white apart from bits of color look at the grenades there look outside when the building blows up uh, and it's a really nice effect I think it's quite useful so that would certainly play a good part in some of your montages I would suggest um, we go back to the two color effect so this is the one that I said I don't think you're gonna really use um, but you may well do and this might you know I'm going to show you how to add color instead of the black and white so if we go into the settings we can add whichever color we want and change the threshold so that it's more of one color than more of the other but again you know play about with these things and see what you think but uh, that's how this one would look if you played about with that okay so then what we will do is we will go into this one and we'll add an effect so add filter and we go into loo no we don't we go into inverted and that gives this strange looking mixture of colors but it's an effect you can sort of see what's going on and yeah you know, why yeah you know, why not give it a go in one of your montages and see how you find that okay we're now at my absolute favorite one if we go to add filter and we'll go down to uh, Noah Noah I don't know how to say it Noah it gives a black and white video but hints of these colors and really vibrant sort of red and that in this one and you can change it about as well and I'll show you how to change the settings but I really do like this one I think it's very effective okay so what we do is we go into edit filter go into filter settings and we can play about with the hue hue range and intensity so the hue will show what sort of color is coming through so as we play about with it here you can start kind of see different colors either in the foreground background okay so if we bring it down um, to we got maybe a green because there's lots of greenery around and we'll see where green starts coming through like 
there, there you go. Um, so we can get that to different levels and we could go down to hue range and then again that brings up the intensity or you can have it more subtle so just bring it down we we'll stop it wherever we think maybe round here and then the last bit is the intensity how vibrant is that color or how much of it is across the screen so uh, move it about and we'll see what that looks like Okay, and while that's playing, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my supporters recently. I've, their support for this channel has been absolutely amazing, and I really do appreciate it. So thank you. Do keep it coming. We're, we're doing so well, and this channel is growing, and hopefully we're getting better and better and helping you all out more and more each video that comes in. So um, if you've been watching this and you haven't subscribed, please do hit, it, hit that subscribe button now. Do like the um, video if you've found it of use and thanks again everyone and uh, all the best for now